Russia started production of the KH-101 with two warheads, making the missile twice as dangerous. Ukrainian air defense shot down a modified Russian KH-101 cruise missile, which had a tandem warhead. The modified version received an additional warhead, doubling its total equivalent from 450 kilograms to about 800 kilograms. The second warhead includes cubic-shaped steel fragments to increase combat efficiency. It is likely that the additional space for the extra warhead was created by reducing the volume of the fuel tank. This is likely to affect the range of the cruise missile, but given the territory of Ukraine, the decrease in range is not critical. According to Defense Express, the installation of an additional warhead, in addition to the usual fragmentation high explosive one, occurred due to the reduction in the size of the fuel tank. What this means is a reduction in the flight range of the KH-101 from 5,500 kilometers to a hypothetical 2,250 kilometers, which doesn't have much significance. In case of launching such missiles from the Saratov region, even targeting objects in the Lviv region, the KH-101 will still have 500 to 700 kilometers remaining for additional maneuvers. As for the mechanism of releasing the warhead of the missile, which is used in the new version of the KH-101, it is currently unknown. KH-101 is a strategic cruise missile developed with radar cross-section reduction technology. A missile with a special nuclear warhead has a KH-102 index. It has been developed since 1995 and was adopted in 2013. The carrier of the missile is a TU-95MSM turboprop strategic bomber and TU-160. The missile uses a combined inertial guidance system with optical electronic adjustment, with the homing head activated at the final stages of flight. In the transport position, the engine is a turbojet, dual circuit, the R95TM 300 models are located inside, the wings are folded under the missile and the tail is also folded. After starting, the engine extends out of the body and the tail decomposes. Poland launches Armored Vehicle Coalition for Ukraine. In Warsaw, the opening of a coalition of armored vehicles in support of Ukraine took place, reports the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. As noted by the department, during the meeting, representatives of the participating countries formulated a position on strengthening the armed forces of Ukraine with certain armored vehicle models and organizing their repair. In addition to Poland and Germany, the initiative also involves the United Kingdom, Sweden and Italy. The purpose of the Armored Vehicle Coalition is to strengthen the armored shield of the armed forces of Ukraine, jointly enhance our military capabilities in countering the Russian aggressor, ensure the effective functioning, technical maintenance and repair of equipment and weaponry provided to us by allies, said Deputy Minister of Defense of Ukraine Ivan Havriliuk, who led the Ukrainian delegation. Within the framework of the coalition, four syndicates have already been created. Each has been assigned specific tasks. Supply of weapons and ammunition for Western armored vehicles, technical maintenance and repair, training of crews and technical personnel, development of effective tactics for the use of armored vehicles on the battlefield. This is a very important initiative of our allies considering the existing issues in the armed forces of Ukraine with the repair of foreign-made armored vehicles. I hope that with the help of allies, we will be able to quickly, as much as possible, establish an effective repair base for Western armored vehicles in Ukraine. Havriliuk added, he clarified that within the coalition, a roadmap will be developed in line with the strategy for the development of the armed forces of Ukraine. It is expected that in the long term, coalition members will assist Ukraine in creating a fleet of vehicles and establishing industrial partnerships with our country. On March the 18th, Polish Defence Minister Vladislav Kosiniak Kamiz announced that his country, together with Germany, was forming an armoured vehicle coalition for Ukraine. The official emphasised that this is one of the most important coalitions. It is worth noting that there are several other coalitions aimed at assisting Ukraine. These include the Aviation Coalition, Drone Coalition, Tank Coalition and others. <laughs> Все разбито, раскурочено. 
почти ничего не осталось. Трупы помешанные с грязью. Разору танк был. Ноги у них старые. Не очень советую без головы сюда приходить. Если у тебя и нет, ты здесь не выживешь. Наш море техники. Просто море.